Hey everyone, my name is Sister Today, I'm going to be on my main account and some also. We're going to be showing you how to do some jailbreak glitches that are very, very common right now. They're kind of like almost like must know level in order to just like kind of grind efficiently in jailbreak. Now, the keyword is efficiently because you can grind without these glitches perfectly fine, but if you want to go for the most efficient way, glitching is kind of like necessary, especially if you're in a public server with a lot of cops. And sometimes you're gonna have to use these glitches in order to successfully get your money. Now right here, I've intentionally used one of my alts to start a jewelry store robbery like a selfish person would. And if the person was like in reality actually super super selfish, they'd get like one pox and just like run to the top. So you won't have that much time to um, get in the store, but you can just open this top door, run down here, and just run inside, go to the... Uh, Bottom floor by going through the obstacles in reverse if the things would stop lagging so hard for me Probably want you like open this thing up because it's the first robbery But most of the time if you're on a public server, it's likely not the first robbery and the cameras I don't know why are just so gosh darn laggy on this server for some really odd reason, but Still doable. We can just run right through like so Now we hear the train, but we can screw Thomas since he's kind of a scam. I mean we all kind of know that now once you're down here, you can get yourself 5,000 cash if you have the bigger bag. And once you get yourself 5,000 cash, all you want to do is just come back up through the lasers and run right through. I believe the robbery would still be going on right now because my uh, alt is still up here. But in a real selfish robbery, the other guy is probably going to be out of the store already. So I might just like leave my uh, selfish guy testing account still in there. But the heli looks like it's up on the roof over there. And I forgot to do my parachute glitch, which I should probably do, but then I'd lose my key card. But I do have one of my alts here for me to get a key card in case. So before we show you um that uh no parachute glitch, we're first gonna come down here to the criminal base, get ourselves six thousand cash, and I guess um let's go because we're right here at the bank. Let's go to um the bank, which there are some tricks in getting the bank money really really quickly. So what you want to do is come over here. Start the bank robbery. It's kind of typical. You kind of need a key card to do this. I'm not sure if you can glitch through the windows. Alright, the vault's open. And now we come in here and get ourselves 3,000 cash. And note that I do not say, get out of the vault. Now, once we are at 3,000 cash, rather than go straight forward, what you want to do is come over here to the side with the money bag, not the side of the gold. And you want to, like, um, get over the bag. And then just go right through, zoom in like that. And it should tell you robbery success. And because I was the only robber in this case, I get teleported outside. But if you aren't the only robber, you could probably just like hide in the, va the bank vault for some time. Or get like the let the cop arrest you. But because you've already gotten your money, it shouldn't really matter anyway. So now that we've robbed these stores, let's go ahead and check on Mr. Estimo Bad CC store. Where we might have a little kind of a glitch slash trick. It's kind of useful if you... um. Are a bit lazy but remember sometimes you got to be a little bit lazy to grind fast so right now as you can see I'm gonna hold down E and I'm gonna let go of E and as you can see the robbery stops but if you do E slash and release E hands are not on the keyboard at all Asimo 3089 right here is getting robbed I'm gonna go ahead and just like type some funny stuff as you can see I can do whatever typing whatever opening safe and Asimo just got robbed like that now he's a little poor broke man you know now sometimes you might be like jumping onto some platforms or jumping off of high surfaces and you might like take fall damage because there won't be a parachute, it's not like the heli or the jewelry store. So what you want to do is get in this heli and jump out, spam click and go back like so and one shot first try parachute glitch successful and now all we gotta do is just get back over here. I have my alt inside here to get like um, a key card from, he's like over there. But usually you'll have a heli, he'll be in the yard, you'll start as a police officer. Parachute glitch has been here for like quite a bit of time since like November 2017. So it's been like three months essentially and it has not been patched and I highly doubt it will ever get patched. But before we get back in our heli, there's a little trick. You might like be a cop and pursue some criminals along the road. It takes a long time. Often, like, you lose a criminal, but go E and 1, like what I just did right there. Easy peasy first try. You get a vehicle, and you have a weapon while you're inside the vehicle. And as you can see right here, 
it is 100% working, 100% legitimate, no no clipping, no exploits, no nothing like that. 100% glitch. And I'm not sure if Asimov has patched the um, ATV glitch or not, but in case you have not figured out the ATV glitch, what you do, get an ATV, I believe right now the engine is supposed to be at level 5 instead of level 3. And what you do is just drive reverse onto any vertical platform, hold down S, and you should be able to, in theory, climb pretty much any vertical surface. That includes like police stations, prisons, I'm not sure about prisons, but police stations, gas stations, rocks, mountains, cliffs, plateaus, whatever vertical surface, the edge of the map, barrier. I'm not sure if you can do this with the rocket fuel or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and rocket fuel up here, but um, rocket fuel currently went in the wrong direction, and now we're up here, and now we are gonna just vertically climb pretty much anything with the rocket fuel, so I guess if you have the rocket fuel, you get like insane power up or something because it looks really cool and you go up stuff really darn fast like that like easy peasy just climbed up way up here and i guess i could probably still continue going and hit the edge of the map and then just like rocket fuel straight vertical easy peasy like this so atv glitch plus rocket fuel equals insanity like i don't think there's anything more ridiculous than this right here which i might have just fallen out of the map uh did I just fall out of the map? I hope I did not. Um, well, looks like we just fell out of the map. No problem. I have my parachute glitch. And as you can see right here, parachute glitch works even if you um, die or switch team or do something funny inside the game. So so right here I have a volt bike with me. I'm going to go ahead and shoot out the uh, tires of the volt bike like so. But instead of... um. Using WASD to drive, instead I'm going to hold down Q, and as you can see, I am rocket fueling, I'm not holding down W at all, I'm just using Q and the steering keys, and I can make a quick and easy getaway from the police officers like this, so this is one of the benefits to having rocket fuel, you can just like, um, escape from cops trying to chase you down by popping your tires and stuff, which is kind of useful in more than enough situations. Or you can just jump out and find another vehicle if you don't have rocket fuel. But honestly, I feel like the rocket fuel, because it's just like epic, it just looks cool and it works a lot better. Alright, so I'm over here at the bank, but I don't have a key card. I have not actually tested this glitch out, but I'm not sure if you can like go through walls or stuff like this. And apparently it looks like you can. So apparently we just no clip through this big metal fence here. No key card, no nothing. You might say... How are we going to get out? Well, if you've been watching the video for any time now, now what you got to do is just go through the lasers, start the vault, do your typical robbery routine. We're going to wait for this vault to open. And now that the vault's open, we can go ahead and run inside quickly or however long Bad CC wants us to wait in here, get ourselves 3,000 money, and then get out of here. All right, just got ourselves 3,000 cash. And, like before, no need to run through the lasers again. Like, why sacrifice yourself to the camping cops when you can just, like, do that random funny wall glitch maneuver? I call it the no-clip glitch. Some people call it the jewelry store glitch or the bank glitch. It works on a jewelry store, works on a bank. But, um, might as well go check on the jewelry store robbery the second time since it is open. So, I'm gonna, like, treat this like a selfish robbery. See if I can just go to the top and open the, uh, doors without having to start the robbery from below. So, let's go ahead... Come up here, open up this door, and run through here, uh... Okay, so you do have to open it from the bottom if you're the first one. For this next glitch, I'm gonna do a quick, um, demonstration kind of thing. But, um, I'm gonna need, like, a few cops or something, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back to jail. And right here, I have a bacon here. I'm gonna go ahead and go on my other computer, arrest my main account, and show you this next cool trick. Alright, so I just got arrested, but very quickly I'm gonna have to switch team, go to police officer, like so. And now you might notice I have some handcuffs and a pistol in my inventory, and I can just run around. Oh shoot, I just got arrested. Oh crap, it's not good. Got arrested. Uh, boom, we just walk through this our cell, easy peasy. Now we got ourselves some handcuffs and some taser. Let's go ahead, give some of these cops some big fat L's. So, alright, here's Mr. Bacon Test police account. Uh, he can't get tased, and he can't also get- he cannot get arrested. Uh, no, okay, yeah, handcuffs are completely useless as a criminal, so... Yeah, basically what you do is follow my instructions, you do a team switch to police while you are arrested, so it'll spawn you in jail, and then take you over to the prison team, but you'll spawn with handcuffs and taser, but... Sadly, they don't work, but they're very useful for, like, 
fake cop trolling. Like, I even have this police officer badge here, okay? This look, I look so legitimate that, like, it's not even funny. But anyway, how to do that a cell glitch thingamajigger? Well, all the cells are currently open, but what you do is that same thing that you, I use to get into the bank. You look over here, and, like, you wait for your body to, like, go through the wall or something, and then you just crouch. It should go through the cell bars because they're, like, super thin. You're not even a solid surface, honestly, but... I guess um, this will wrap it up for all of my must-know glitches for Jailbreak February 2018 edition. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.